interesting pick. Uh, Vola Bear. Um, not seen too much in the past, but just got buffed in the, I believe, what, patch, patch ago. Um, I'm excited to see him roll out onto the stage. Yeah, top in jungle. It's it's not very, or I mean, it's very good in the jungle. Top lane, not too bad, or not too good. Has a bunch of rough matchups. Um, but in the jungle, the champion just really takes over mid game. He just like really good at initiating, um, catching out opponents, and does a surprising amount of damage. Oh yeah, that fight hurts. I'm also interested to see the uh, the Rumble pick. I know Rumble's one of the least picked champions uh, in general in League of Legends right now. Um, I haven't seen a lot of them recently at all. So, especially into the Scion pick, I know Scion, the complete opposite, one of the most picked top laners. Very strong right now. Um, so, that's like David versus Goliath math matchup up there, champion-wise. Oh, really? I still thought Ryze was pretty strong. I see. That makes sense. Does hit to uh, level two first for blue side. They will hit the hook onto Rakan. Flashes come through. First blood for Zaya. Wow, a good old level two power. Uh, level two power spike. Mm -hmm. You have to be watching out for that if you're uh, if you're bot lane. This should be something you just happens every time. Right into him, I guess another kill picked up for um, NC State, and the jungler invades as well. A third Zach pass is popped at the red buff. He also comes over TP from the Scion. Doesn't go on the Zach block, puts it on the ward. All right, well that's an early 3-0, three, three minutes into the game. Wow, three early kills for NC State. No, another hook goes through onto the Varus. Maybe not yet. First splash away from the E of Zaya. He will make it uh, out this time. Great hooks coming through from uh, Camaro. And Zaya. advantage on him, he just solo killed him straight up, there were no sums exchanged. Looked fairly simple and easy. On to Yasuo. Yasuo dashes through him back to his tower, gets exhausted, flashes away. Will Rise follow? No, he hits the Q, not enough. But in the bot lane, Thresh hits a hook onto Rakan. He'll use his jump, junk back out to Varus. Um, safe all around. Just the flash burned in the mid lane for Yasuo. They do have they do have thresh on the other side. Will he hit the hook? He does. Uh, lantern to Zaya doesn't even matter. The chomp comes down. Another kill 
for the Vola Bear. Plucking Penguin, taking control of the jungle early. Well, maybe not a week ago. He's been strong for probably like a week and a half now, or two weeks since the last patch, but beforehand he was a pretty laughable jungler. Is still in the red side jungle. Uh, use the flank action onto the Rakan and Varus. Destroy the blast plant. Take the Thresh Lantern out to safety. Okay. Oh, the Slyon ult does come down top lane. Can't combo with the Q. Looks like he's out of mana. Now he has enough. Will not be enough to kill the Rumble. He is poking him out though, making a very uh, annoying lane for Whoppers. Use his ult, clears the way. I'm glad we're getting a whole bunch of uh, the maps just fixating on top lane this game. That's all we get to watch. That's true. Oh, he gets the E really low. Onto the Rakan. He'll just dash away, but a nice trade for NC State. This Thresh has been really impressive so far. I don't think I've seen him miss one hook yet. They do have Volmer also coming back. Oh, the Flash in Volibear, he's back here too. Zach is also lurking around the back side. Not gonna get here quick enough. Down goes Varus, hooks, lands again onto Zach. The Ignite goes down. Volibear flashes under tower. Makes it out with the passive. Whoa. Rakan doesn't fall, he survives, but a 2 for 0 for NC State. They're up 6 to 0 early. So far, this mid lane hasn't been living up to the uh, action of the other lanes. I'm kind of disappointed. This isn't a tank fight. Scion ult does come down though. Rumble ult will answer. Knock up does come through from Scion's Q. There it is, Rumble. Another solo kill onto Scion. What happened to that MR, Rocco? I thought, I thought he was gonna pull him. That's true. Said it, speaking of bullying. Fucking Penguin on the Bull Bear just rolling to Zack, just waiting for him to use his E. Knock up goes into the Yasuo ult. Scion TP is coming through. He's trying to take out the Zack passive real quick before he gets in. Uh, Rakan runs up from bottom lane to 3v2 right now. Rumble is not there. Yasuo looks like he may go down. The quickness goes down onto him as well. Oh, he doesn't go over the wall. We'll go down, right? Right? There we go. He flashed. Make sure he takes him down. Uh, but Volibear looks like he will make it out away from the Scion. Scion does hit the knockup onto Rumble. Uh, but he'll just be able to slow him and run away. Well, he does have. Nah, he's good. He's good. He's alright. But meanwhile, while all that PS is going down, uh, Zaya does take the first tower of the game bot lane. Uh, while the rest of the. Uh, while the two bot laners of NC or South Carolina roamed up mid.
Oh yeah. What do you mean? I'd rather play against Zaya than Varus. I think Varus is really, really strong right now. I don't like Varus. I'd rather play against Zaya. So it does dodge the virus alt. Uh, nothing going on in the mid lane anymore. Thought there'd be some action here finally, but guess not. All right, so what does South Carolina even have to do? Besides this, they're trying to get a pick onto the Rumble. The virus alt is down. We will not have it to be able to get the pick. Rumble alt does miss the, the uh, choke point a little bit. We're gonna look top lane instead, I guess. Watching the bot. Oh, that's a nice hook. The bot lane of NC State taken out. Uh, Tard Bark again. And it looks like Yasuo is on the run. Rakan, Varus, Ryze chasing him down. He's trying to juke away! Ah, he's gone. There it is. Primal Zerg picks him up with the Q. 9 to 2 already. <laughs> he, he's 1 and 2. The rest of his team is, what, 8 0? He's a late game champion to scale. Alright. Oh, yes. Alright. Flash does come through four rumbles, escape the Zafir Con Varus combo. But yeah, they will take down the top tower. They won't be able to get the bottom tower quick enough before the minions die. It's a trade. Silence comes back for revenge. Doesn't get the knock up on the Zaya. She just kite him out, gets the stun. Well, he also tried. He's, he's trying. Dodges the knock up from Rakan. Oh, hits the knock up on Varus. Uh, Thresh comes in with the hook. We'll finish him off with the ignite. Anyways, Volware comes in, picks him up, 3 for 0 trade, uh, sacrifice 3 lives for that tower. Probably not too worth Am I muted? Someone said in the chat that one of the mech casters is muted. Interesting. Alright. Well, hopefully they can hear me. Be a little awkward. What? <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Alright, are, are you unmuted now? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's been a solo cast the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so NC State will look 
Rift uh, to get the Rift Orb, man, I'm cracking up now. I've just been talking to myself this whole time. Alright, they will pick it up. Yasuo will engage onto the Rakan. Does take the uh, Varus all to the face. Alright, that didn't happen. <laughs> Have you been you've been yeah. the whole time? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh jeez, we're not we're not gonna talk about that. Anyways. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> so since they haven't heard your thoughts on it, what are your thoughts on the game? All right, well, we got a Scion who's coming in. He's gonna be torn to shreds by a Zaya right now because he has no armor to deal with her. Yeah, he's not getting torn to shreds yet. There he goes. And I'll be going down along with the rest of his team. Zach passive is popped. He goes down finally as well. I think, okay, so just to recap, I said that uh, Zaya is probably the strongest champion right now. She has so much gold on her. They're just going to end up getting run down if they can't do anything to stop her. And it's very hard to. Zaya is a very self-sufficient champion. She's very capable of solo winning games. And with a frontline like Volibear and Thresh, she's going to have a very easy time getting picks and peeling. Well, it's going to be very hard for uh, South Carolina, Carolina to be able to kill her anyways, but the lead at NC State has uh, has farmed over their time here. But Rumble will get caught out from the flash stun from Ryze. Uh, a little extra on the end of that going towards South Carolina. Have you noticed, though, that the... Uh, the jungler for South Carolina right now is having a bit of a rough game. He's 0-6-0. Uh, fucking Penguins kind of shut him down. I, irrelevant almost. You know, I think the thing is he disrespected the Volibear pick. I didn't. I don't think he estimated how much damage it can do, and I don't think his team set a priority for him. Uh, when you know that your jungler is going to be invaded, you have to be pushing your lane so that you can go and join him at any time. And they didn't give that any thought. I mean, I, I I, think Scion did. From what I saw, Scion did do that. But at the same time, he had been getting solo killed. At, so he couldn't come in until it's too late. All right, Hook comes in from Thresh onto the Rakan. He uses the stopwatch, but misses out on the rise, oh. <laughs> the rise portal out. I don't think the team synergy is quite there. Uh, that was a bit of a misplay miss there. A uh, bit of communication slip. A little interesting. I think um, South Carolina here has a chance with their scaling team comp. Doesn't even matter though, because right, or Zion uh, goes in onto the bot lane. Oh, good. Zion gets popped. Good snare coming in from top from Zaya. Oh my. The whole team gets popped, really. That's a near ace for NC State already, just to support Superman. And he goes in 1v5. <laughs> I think that. Oh, that's that's game. Might be the surrender. Yeah, <laughs> I had I had faith in the Rakan to be able to pull that off. GG 1-0, quick clean victory for NC State. That was a fast victory, that's for sure.